Iyala. Van Zant. Iyala. Iyala. Ivanja. They call the woman everything but Iyala. Iyala. Everything but what Ayana. she says at the beginning of the show. Ayana. She says it clearly. Iyala Van Zant. Thank you, Santa. You. He's so sweet. Just like your brother, cousin. My brother. Your brother. Um. Let's go back to the Iyanla before this past Saturday. Do you know what happened? Because I don't remember. Honey, the Iyanla was a part one. No, that was this past Saturday. We're going to the one prior. Oh, that one, that one. I okay. Got to find. You got to find that girl because I'm not sure. And then we'll talk about the other one in a minute. Okay, the part one. The part one. Um, Girl, Bobby the Barge was only a week ago. It seems like it's been so long. That was an interesting it's terrible. Uh, take on Bobby the Barge's life. It's terrible. I talked about it. But you don't watch my videos, and I'm gonna see you in now. Yeah, I just hadn't, I hadn't had the, had the ability. I guess I didn't take notes on that Iyanla. Uh -huh. I can't remember what happened. So let me think. Look, got somebody cried. Yeah. We just watched. Oh, it was the crackhead mama. Crack the crackhead mama and the lesbian daughter. It wasn't really nothing. I mean, you can talk about it. it didn't that happen? It was. It was actually. It, it would. It would. It wouldn't have been really different if she just was with a man that he cheated like. It was the same thing. She didn't like, she wanted to, to be the center of attention. This is a mom. Wanted to be the center of attention. And so she had dug in in this relationship and decided that she wanted to uh, stay with her daughter forever. I've already told my mom she can't stay with me. I can't stay with you as long as you stay with me. Absolutely not. <laughs> you lost your mind? <laughs> Are you, you had me, I didn't have you, girl. Anywho. Honey. Um, so it to me, it wasn't anything different like I said than if it was a guy she didn't like they I, just happen to be lesbians yeah that's not the even the focal point here the focal point yeah. is the mama was trifling she was a little bit but she, she lied like, about having been a crackhead hey, you, you did not mention that like crack sis it's crack you can't I was just, using alcohol okay. and crack no 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 you need to up that you, you were using just, crack <laughs> while the child was growing up you can't negate crack girl we, <laughs> it's crack. crack crack is a little different than alcohol child so once we got that understanding and, and, and everybody knew now she used to do crack and she sang that she could she did a lot of head cocking to the side a girl I don't, like no you did like girl no you did smoke crack <laughs> and lie and yeah. omit it yeah. omit it child. act like the crack part didn't didn't hurt your child like that's the main thing girl that hurt her i don't nobody want their mama to be a crackhead nobody mm -hmm. i thanked my mama during the episode for not doing crack because mm -hmm. <laughs> Child, I drink a blister on Coke from now. Don't say that. That sounds like Excuse you're doing me. cocaine. Coke, a cola in the liquid bottle. From Is the, the bottle liquid? No, yeah, well, shoot. It comes in liters and six packs. Uh, oh, that's bad. Look, I drank a drink. That's why my daddy mama ain't got no teeth. Well, your daddy mama OD'd on Coca-Cola, and that was too much, too. Tries to help her. I'm sad that she has no teeth. She I'm not. Teeth. She don't deserve teeth. She has nice teeth. She's raggedy and trifling, and if you're watching, you're raggedy and trifling. I don't know. I ain't see it because you made sure I didn't see it. Because you would have said, oh, where are your teeth? That's a girl. Because, I mean, she's kind of cute girl. On the outside, on the inside, she looks like Wendy Williams. Uh -uh. I don't put Wendy in there. Wendy Williams in the nude. Uh -uh. See? You see how your face wrinkled up? Anyway, That's um, bad. The crackhead mama, like, they all ended up happily ever after, girl. I don't know. The last thing they said, the final... You know, they put up the little where are they now kind of update piece at the end. Mm -hmm. And the daughter said that everything has been stressful <laughs> since the mama moved out. And I was like, what? They didn't. But, they, they, but I was glad that mama did move out, though. And we thank God for that because she was on my nerves and probably on the two women's nerves, too. Yeah, because she was. Because she was picking on the one, the wife, the um, the butch wife, had been all out into the war, honey, and she had PTSD, yes, and the mama was making fun of her and all sorts of crazy. Like, girl, leave her alone. But then she had to, Rihanna had to explain that the daughter had PTSD from her. Everybody got PTSD. And I wanted to find out why the mama had been smoking crack. Why you were smoking crack for? Yeah, because we didn't get into that because it was so much other little mess with three people. Because you've been through some things. You ain't never smoked no crack. No. I've been through a thing or two. I ain't never even seen crack. I've seen pipes, but I've never seen the actual rock of crack. Yeah, no, I I didn't think I wanted to do that. If I was going to take myself out, I didn't want to go that way. Plus, you know, you got to consider, you want to look nice in your casket. You want to look nice. I'm being cremated, so. I mean, I'm about to go have me a casket. And then what y'all do, y'all don't, don't put me, don't know, pre-made me to take me home. To you can't house. come home with me. I told you, you can't live with me. I'm going to live with you. <laughs> you can't stay with me I'm in life or death. I'm going to stay with you. You can't. 
speaking of, I have a show recommendation for you. It's really good. Okay. Um, actually, let me go and tell you because they're gonna be like, well, what was the shit? In the dark. It just dropped on Netflix. It is. I think it's a CW show. It's one of those shows that when before it came out, I was like, oh, this looks really good. I'm gonna watch it. And then I forgot about it until it popped up on Netflix for you know the first season. And I was like, dang, I missed the whole season and didn't remember. It's about a blind helper. She's solving a crime, girl, but she's blind. And everybody like, you can't solve a crime. You're blind. Mm, but she does anyway. Just, yeah, all this, the yeah, senses are better. Be no, that's not true. It should be better. Unless you got some other kind of deficiency more than just the blindness. No, it's just when you're blind, you don't have superpowers, girl. You don't have that you have superpowers, but you music when you're blind, you can hear better. It's because your body's compensating, right? You can smell better. You gotta watch the show. You trying to babysit the blind. We ain't babysitting the blind. We ain't babysitting. She blind, it's fine. She can get around. Yeah, better me too. Just solve the crime, be all right. I need glasses and earmuffs. I mean, when I say I'm blind, I mean it. Legally. The no, doctor said your vision ain't never gonna get no better. It's gonna get worse. I said, where's the doctor? Put some blessed all in. No. You ain't gonna see nothing for a minute. We're gonna get into all something. You have to ask the Lord to come down and spit on the dirt and put the dirt on my eyes. That's a nasty Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, like no is way. it not another way, Lord? You have to spit on the dirt. Yeah, I mean, but if it's gonna cause me to see, I'll just wash my face after I can get my eyes out. They didn't have Clinique. They didn't have Neutrogena, Nazima, Nivea. None of the girls. None of it. He couldn't cleanse his face good. None of it. It's unfortunate. But anyway, let's move on to uh, this recent Iyala. Iyala. On this recent Iyala, it was some brothers. Three of them, they daddy was a crackhead. Or mm -hmm. was it crack? Daddy or? and Heron. their mama. It was Heron. Yeah, they used Heron. Their mama and their daddy was both doing Heron. The mama went on, you know, the glory. Right. Uh, and left the kids. Now, we meet with the, the youngest boy. He already in crisis. Yeah, this show ain't started. The show ain't even on yet. They ain't started recording. Now, he already going through. And y'all say, well, what's going on? He said, well, I just got a, a small diagnosis of prostate cancer. I said, a small diagnosis? What? Two years ago. You got a teaspoon of prostate cancer? And now you're throwing up and urinating blood? I mean, he literally, I mean, it's just a small diagnosis of prostate cancer. Sir, sir, do you know how to It might have been a small diagnosis then, but Two I bet years. it ain't now. Baby, your prostate is just, it's, it's ruined. It's up. It's ruined. I hate that for him. I really hope that he gets, you know. Somebody take him in, get him, Jesus. Right, maybe the show will send him to take some doctors or something. But Lord, small dose. Ain't no just city hospital in your area? Know what's going on? I'm praying for him though. I mean, yeah. but uh, he's upset because his mama did. He really don't have a relationship with his daddy, and he got this small diagnosis See, of prostate cancer. And there was nobody to carry him on his insurance until he was 26. Right. And then we got the other brother. Now that brother's name was Nigel. I think Nigel is a good name. Yeah, yeah, we Think like about him. naming my puppy Nigel. Mm -hmm. That'd be and nice. He's my dog Nigel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a good name. It's a good name. Regal. Mm -hmm. Regal. Um, it's gotta be a cute dog. Girl. No Who are you to dog. dictate what my dog is? Now I'm gonna get the ugliest dog I can find just to spite you. You gotta live with it. So? I tell it it's so ugly, it's cute. Cause you know I'm getting hairless cats. Mm -hmm. I ain't coming to your house. It's good. <laughs> That's what I wanted all along. I need, Privacy. I need keys to be left alone. And like alarm codes. You think I would have an alarm? I you just don't get a hairless cat gonna suck people's toes off of what, what they do to their body. I don't know. Probably scratch. You ain't gonna have them. Fingernails I'm not. Them. See, my mama and her husband are fear mongerous. I'm not. I just don't want to catch nothing from the cat. I'm talking about these alarms and guns and all of this carrying on that y'all like to do. It ain't that deep, girl. I don't have nothing. Break in the house if you want to. Ain't nothing in here. Nothing. Well, anything I goes to work. I, I don't want you to try boot mud in my house. Well, no, I'm gonna leave a mat on the front door that says uh, "Burglars, please well, take off your shoes." Burglars don't read. They is focused. You need to be focused on this mat that says burglars please take off your shoes before entering breaking and entering in the home three boys yeah so there's nigel cornell and cornelius the third they're twins the, the, the two the two twins C's. they are and you can tell cornell from cornelius because uh cornell has a different situation mm -hmm. his eyebrows were arched he was cute they were all cute i mean even the sickly you know the one with just a touch of, of uh Prostate cancer, just a, you know, a spoonful, just a dose. Like seriously, a boy? small diagnosis, small diagnosis. Like, son, the prostate is not big. <laughs> a small diagnosis. I guess that's the on the little bitty prostate, it's, it's sweetie. <laughs> you ain't got no prostate. That's the problem. It's eating the rest of you now. Oh, I'm praying with him and for him, but that took me out. The way he minimized yeah, a cancer I got, diagnosis. I got small. A small diagnosis. I never, I never. I'm laughing to keep from crying because, like, what? I don't want that for him. But anyway, the brothers, the twins, 
um, long story short, may or may not be Cornelia the second's sons. Because the mama was doing things strange for but people she, to change. Yeah, she had, she had an addiction. And she had to work out her ways to get her, get it her done. So. I just feel like if I'm doing a taste of crack, just a taste, and I find out that I'm having a child, I would probably be like, you know what, don't pass the crack this week. Not, 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 not now. We're talking about we got an addiction. <laughs> that does not make your brain work right. I don't have an addictive personality, so I don't. I can cut anything off at any time, really. And that's a blessing, hallelujah. But some people don't have that testimony. I hate that for y'all. That's why I was just talking to a girl at church, her friend that died out of an overdose, drug addiction, four children. She could How do you have multiple stop. children and you're spending money on, on drugs? That's where you lose because it's like the kids got. Basketball and piano and swimming. It's summertime. Like the kids got to go swimming. I needed my lip gloss. <laughs> had to have it. They had coconut and they had the chocolate flavor. It was cherry and strawberry and all sorts of flavors. I had to have all the flavors. I didn't really care for orange, but I had to have it just to complete the collection. And lime was okay. It was all right, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I just don't see where you have room to have, spend your recreational money on crack or whatever. You know, heroin, whatever your your, your, your drug of choice is. Because. They may have gotten it from somebody else or was with somebody else and their addictive personality and they got hooked really quickly. That don't answer my question. They didn't have the chance to make the decision. It made it for them. But see, you lose me when we out and you say, hey girl, I got a little hair on. You want to try and stick out your arm? I'm going to put this needle in it. You lose me right there because it's well, like, you know, no. I don't, want to, I don't want that at the doctor's office. I don't think I'm going to do hair on today. I appreciate you, though, for the offer. You are so sweet to offer. You really are. Giving your drugs like that. That is so nice. But I, I, mm-mm. Free mm mm-hmm. mm-mm. I won't be able to do it. And that's not a good friend, no way. I mean, it's nice in theory because you've decided to, you know, do, do, to share it. your drugs. And drugs are pricey. You know, drugs rack up. Um, But no, I, I just don't see it. Anyway. Cornelius and Cornell may not be the daddy's sons and that was confusing to me because why did the daddy write Iyanla to try to get in relationship with the sons and then he come on the show and it's like well they may not even be mine anyway. it was like sir why are you here why was he here these these are not things this is not information that I am privy to the last three of Iyanla's have been kind of lackluster for me we didn't even talk about the, the man and his white wife and he had went to jail and he almost uh, choked her to death or whatever they was doing over there. We didn't talk about them at all. He'd be so scared of me. He wouldn't rest. He wouldn't be scared of me. He'd be dead. <laughs> then you had to go to jail. What about the Jaren? Jaren coming to jail too. <laughs> they helped me kill him. Bring him on. <laughs> <coughs> they going to juvie. They'll be out next year. You ain't coming now. It was self-defense. I ain't going to jail. Look at it. It got handprints around my neck. Handprints. Self-defense. I don't know. It anyway. is so bad. His nerves would be so bad. Yeah, I'm just going to go on and leave. Have, he just wouldn't come home. I was going to say he wouldn't live with me no more. Cause he wouldn't come home because I, mm -mm, I wouldn't be right. He would wake up and his pinky toe would be in the freezer. <laughs> he wouldn't even know when I cut it off. <laughs> he wake up and get up and fall over because his toe in the freezer. He ain't got his balance no more. Yeah, that toe. Oh, Jesus. I kept it on ice, but you may want to run on down I mean, to the hospital. But they kind of came on around because they was trying. Because they didn't trust each other no more. We on two. We two on this back now. Right. If I, can you pronounce it? Yeah, I don't, uh, if I don't trust you, we don't need to be together. We have to rebuild trust. That's fine. We just break up. I mean, period. I mean, you know, sometimes you got to break up. You know what my papa say? Get shut up. You got to get shut up. Period. Anyway, girl, ain't nothing really going on on Eon. I have a shine, excuse me. You finna take your makeup off anyway? Yeah, but I got a shine right now. That's better. I am a shine. You are a promise. You are a possibility. I have proof. Ooh. Big old bug. You find yourself on my last nerve. Mm -hmm. Anyway, girl, ain't nothing going on in the Eon universe. Oh, so, yeah. She helped him, though, didn't she? Yeah, she helped them. She they, helped, they, they were uh, able to communicate better because that that's a lot of the problem with people. They, they were having problems communicating, so they they got through some of that. Then the, the one we can't remember, like the week before, the crackhead mama. We already the talked crackhead about mama. Her. She didn't get rid of. She got some better. She act like she really understood, but I was skeptical of her. I think she was fake. But I was a little skeptical, but she did move. So maybe she did get get it kind of, you know. Yeah. 
And then this past week, part one. Part one. We don't know why this man is there with these kids, and he don't really think it's his. So we've gone through the show. The little boy, he he, he messed up with his little taste of cancer. Just a dose, you know, a little bit, a then teaspoon. The cancer. oldest, the, the junior boy, going through a divorce. He is going through a divorce. And he is just emotionally shut down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the middle guy, with his difference, he feels his. <laughs> He is concerned. He is his, he's more uh, nurturing than the other two. Uh -huh. So he's concerned about his brothers. But he, I mean, he liked them. Why weren't you there? Would you? Uh, then they say, oh, he think he think we we his kids. We never we never heard that before. It's news to me. Well, give him swab me then. <laughs> and then they got swab. I don't know why they swab both of them. Just swab one of them. You will get your ass. They the same dude. It's the same nigga. <laughs> Anywho, I was wondering that. I thought that was just. No, just I mean, I guess That's for equality, but That's not to be fair. You should swap both, both of, them. of them who have almost the same DNA. Literally the same DNA. They have different fingerprints, though. But if that just say. That's why I used to I used to fuss at my friends that are twins. Why y'all fight? Y'all the same person. You're the same girl. <laughs> like Usher and I Kelly said, and they hit song same girl. Same. Why you fight with yourself? You look like yourself. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Anywho, girl, that was Iyanla, the yeah. past three of them. And uh, we'll call y'all for Queen Sugar. I guess eventually I've been trying to get her to do Queen Sugar for days, but yeah, yeah. she acting a fool. I've been ill. I've been ill too. So we're gonna have to get out here. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, you have to get out here tomorrow. It be Queen Sugar again directly. I know we gotta get out here. And, I mean, unless we do it in, in, the, in the front or something, I don't know where people are now. I gotta eat these tacos. I'll call y'all later. Peace.